In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to add animations in your game using RPG Builder. And we're also going to see how to take something that is quite repetitive, like this animation, and make it a little bit more interesting. For example, not always using the right swing animation. We could alternate between right and left, right? So uh, let's go under RPG Builder, Templates and Animations. And here, if we look at the melee attack one, this is the one that we just used in game. So as you can see, here it gives you all the supported animator uh, parameter types from Unity. Now a quick note before going further, you need to have uh, basic experience with Unity's animator system to uh, use the system and to understand this video. This is a Unity system, right? This is not an RPG Builder system. RPG Builder is only making use of it and making it easy for you to work with it, but you need to learn about this no matter if you use RPG Builder or not anyway. This is something you need to know if you want to use Unity for any game you're going to make. So anyway, um, if you know about all that, great, you can keep watching the video. If not, just um, take a small break and it's really not going to uh, take that long to understand. But anyway, here we have all the available Unity's animator parameter types, such as trigger, bool, int, and float. And as you can see, they come with their own settings. If I select bool, I have more things here. But in this case, uh, the intro one was uh, quite straightforward. It is a trigger. So we trigger this animation only once. And here it is a RPG builder setting. This one is not from Unity. Here we have uh, a few options. We have single. In this case, it means that no matter what, whenever we trigger this animation template, the melee attack one parameter will be triggered. Nothing else. There is no other option. Now, if we go from single to list, as you can see here, we can no longer just type one, but instead we have a list of available parameters. And in this case, what this means is that whenever we trigger this animation template, it will pick one randomly, either melee attack one or melee attack two. If I go ahead and save now, you see that when I use the ability, it just alternates or rather pick randomly. It doesn't quite alternate because as you can see, we can have multiple times the same in a row. In this case, it played the right one two times in a row, right? And so yeah, this is going to pick randomly. And now if I go again under uh, melee attack one and select the third one, which is sequence, this is one I really like. And this no longer picks randomly. Let me actually go back here just uh, to explain a bit further. This no longer picks randomly. This start with that one, goes to that one and goes to whatever is next. And at the end, it resets back to the first one. So if you only have two, it is a very easy way to have animations uh, alternating. So you could very easily have right, left, right, left. That we will just see, uh, we will see right now. So here, right, left, right, left, right, left right left and so on and it just resets to the last one if you had five it would you know go to the fifth one and goes back to going back to the first one of the list so that was it for the trigger ones uh quite straightforward right um not much uh thing to really focus on or anything it's quite easy and here we have uh one last setting which is enable root motion i don't really use this personally but if you want to the option is here so here you can have this template enabling root motion on your um, animator for a duration. So if you have this on with one as a value, root motion is going to be enabled for one second um, as soon as you use this template and after. Now let's take a look at the other parameter types. So for example, bool. Here, of course, they can all also be of those three types. This is not a problem, but bool has a few other options. So here, for example, if we wanted to set the parameter um, to true, we will turn this on, right? Uh, this, the bool value is going to be basically the value assigned. So if this is off, this means false. And if this is on, this means true. So you could set things to false or true, of course, that's up to you. You could also reset it after the duration. So if we set it to true, we could say uh, that after one second, we want it to be back to false. And here, this might not be as useful for abilities, but it could be useful for uh, interactable objects. This lets you toggle another bool. So for example, we could have a two bool parameters, for example, opened and closed. And uh, in this case, we could you know, uh, set opened to a certain state and toggle the other one closed if we wanted to. So here you simply type the parameter name, for example, closed and um, 
toggle bool value if this is on um, it is going to uh, you know on it means true and off means false just like this one and then for int and float is just the, the int and float value so here you can type whatever value you want for float and for int and that's it now the question is how do we actually use those in game right because we can create them we can um, view them etc but how do we actually attach this to for example like an ability so if I go ahead here under combat abilities and look at the cleave ability you can see that here at the bottom we have um, animations and we can add as many as we want and they also come with a few options on when they should be um, playing so here of course we play it on start because as soon as I use this ability I want my character to start swinging but if I go ahead and set completed you will see that it will look weird huh? that's not uh, intended but as you can see here the ability is used I can even deal damage and the animation plays later okay that's not what we want obviously but it was just to show you that we have options for things like that we can play animations on interrupted and cancelled as well we can also have a delay so this could uh, start after maybe 0.2 seconds maybe one second and so on and here we have show weapons so if i turn this off and if um, we are out of combat we should go out of combat very soon here for example and i use my animation as you can see the animation works but it looks a bit odd because the weapons are not in the hands the reason for that is because we are out of combat right so the weapons are in their rest position so if i have this off it looks a bit weird so in this case i just have show weapons and maybe have it to two seconds or something like that and as you can see the weapons will be uh, visible or rather slotted to the hand as we use the animation so that's pretty cool and another very 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 good setting is the modify speed and this is very important because normally in unity uh, the speed of the animation is in the animator itself so if i go here and look at the animator for example let's say um this one the melee attack one as you can see i can set this to for example four and go in game now and you can see that now it's super quick right uh, but of course it's only affecting the right one because that's the one we tweaked but if I now go ahead and tweak melee attack 2 as well you can see that it looks quite odd but yeah you get the idea um, let's set them back to 1 but this would be really tedious if you needed um, uh, one individual clip like this or animator state in your animator for every speed of animation you wanted right so RPG Peter lets you dynamically affect the speed of those attack animation so if I go ahead now and uh, select two for example here you can see that we no longer have to tweak anything but the animation is faster so you could use the exact same animation template on for example cleave and the same one on lacerate but they could have a different speed here because maybe this ability is faster to cast right or things like that so yeah that's very useful uh, i hope everything was clear if not definitely let me know if you have questions on the discord and let me know what you think in the comments here and see you in the next video